And then the second uh, question, to know which we're going to go into now, um, it comes from Lungisani, uh, which is at the back of uh, a video that we did uh, some time ago uh, about how to structure a rental property business. So would, this would be trust versus companies uh, to buy property. So asset protection, tax efficiency. So the question they have now is, can you put your company into a trust? Um, so, uh, so unfortunately, I don't have enough information w w in this question itself to be able to uh, really answer it properly. So, it, it, so basically, can you have the company in a trust, like legally speaking? Is it permissible? Yes. Uh, nothing stops uh, Nothing stops a trust from owning shares in the company. So that's that's all good, right? Um, can can a person put their company in a trust, an existing company? Yes, they can, right? There's nothing that stops them from doing that either. So in law, it's permissible. Where I'm assuming the question comes from, and I might be wrong, but I'm going to answer it anyway, because the other answers were way too short and I like to talk a bit longer, um, <laughs> is the is, is it doable? How easy is it to move an existing company into a trust? So the answer really comes down to what does the company own? Like, what are the value of the shares, firstly, and what are the assets that the company owns? Why this is important is because there's a whole bunch of tax implications when it comes to moving shares, and one needs to be cognizant. So if you started this company yesterday and there's nothing in the company, move it. By all means, move it. There's no issue at all. It's a matter of issuing shares, doing share certificates, share register, reporting to the CIPC who the ultimate beneficial owner is, and you're done. All good. If the company has share value, so if you created a business in the company and you started the company and you issued shares at one rand and now the company actually has a couple of assets and is actually worth a little bit of money, you can move it, no issue, just bear in mind that there might be a capital gains component because now your shares went from one rand to a hundred rand a share or a thousand rand a share or whatever, depending on the assets in uh, that um, that you own in the company, right? If the company has a property, capital gains, another consideration, but in addition to that, if the company's property, so 50% of the assets in the company constitute residential properties. So this is now called the residential property company when 50% or more of its assets constitute residential property. In those instances, you'd have to pay transfer duty when you move the shares across, right? It's kind of a weird one because transfer duty is only normally paid when you transfer properties. But if you're transferring a company with a residential property, 50% or more worth, uh, of the, the entire asset value of the company, you would have to pay transfer duty on it, right? And the last point that I need to make is a lot of people might ask and say, oh, but he's not uh, he's not mentioning like section 42s because that's the, the big word nowadays when it comes to estate planning. Section 42, there, there you go. Section 42 is an exchange. It means that if I own a company or shares in a company, right? And I want, uh, uh, or uh, anything, if I own an asset, as an example, I own a property. I want to put this property in that company. What do I do? I go to that company, I knock on their door and I go, I've got a million rand worth of property. Can you give me a million rand worth of shares? Sure. Fair exchange, equal, equal exchange. I get something in my estate in exchange for giving that person something. There you can do it without any tax consequences, but you need to acquire it, not your trust. So you can't give a property to a company as an example, and then your trust gets the benefit of holding the shares in that company. So that is very, very complicated. And that's why it's not a simple answer uh, to this question, because you're mentioning a trust. Um, and since you're mentioning the trust, Section 42 doesn't easily apply to those transactions. Yeah. So, yeah, so thank you very much, uh, to our gentlemen, for today's videos. And thank you uh, to our viewers and listeners for going back to some old videos that bring up some questions. And then that does bring us to the end of today's uh, answers and questions. Uh, so we'll see everybody again uh, next week. And thank you once again. Cool. Bye -bye. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Cheers.